Today, I'm gonna to go flying. This is me, and this is my instructor, Instructor Brad. You rock! Most lessons start with a ground instruction and a lesson objective. This aircraft, mm -hmm. where it's parked, how to handle it, what different controls on the airplane do, what the different flight control surfaces do, and how they affect the airplane. Yeah. All right, well, let's go out and do a pre-flight. We'll start there, and then uh, we'll pull the plane out, and we're gonna go fly today, so uh, it'll be awesome. To pre-flight the Cessna 150, we go yeah, around the airplane checking everything as in fully working order, and it starts off arrow. with checking the documentation for the airplane. The second item is the registration. This is a registration certificate that gives it this tail number. Okay. So we've got the operating or owner's manual, and then the last one is the weight and balance. And the weight. This, this little button right here is very important. As you can see, there's a very small little hole there. This is called a static port, okay? And this is part of your uh, instrumentation on the airplane for altimetry. Mm -hmm. This altimeter has a series of bellows that are in it in there, and air pressure sets here, and the pressure changes. You know, we have high pressure and low pressure as the weather changes. That high and low pressure goes in through this little hole and affects the bellows inside there on the altimeter and changes the altimeter setting, okay? So it's very important that that little hole is not covered up. This is another uh, important device. This here is called a pitot tube, and right now it has a cover on it. The importance of the cover is that here in Texas especially, we have little things called mud daubers and some people call them dough poppers, but they're little wasps and they like to build insects, they're little insects, and they like to build nests inside the pitot tube. Mm -hmm. If this were blocked, it's gonna affect your instrumentation in your airplane, specifically your airspeed indicator. The airspeed indicator, which we will learn later, takes two sources to drive it. Ram air pressure through the pitot tube and static air pressure from the mm -hmm. static port. So if either one of these are covered, we're not gonna get proper indications in the cockpit. Airspeed in an airplane is very important because that is life. Airspeed in an airplane is life. So if you can't tell how fast your airspeed is, that's not a good situation. I want you to think of this, this will make us go up and down, but I want you to think of this as airspeed. Mm -hmm. So when I talk about airspeed, this hand controls this gauge. So this is airspeed, mm -hmm. and this hand is gonna control the throttle. Mm -hmm. This is altitude. If you wanna go up, you push this in, if you want to go down, you pull this out. Mm -hmm. If you want your airspeed to be slower, you pull back. If you want your airspeed to be faster, you push forward. Okay. Airspeed, altitude. Altitude, airspeed. Okay. An hour into my first lesson, and I am beginning to feel overwhelmed with information. Brad somehow is still prepared to take me up into the air, and so we take the airplane out of the hangar for the first flight. did not come naturally to me. Luckily, a lot of the procedures require checklists. It's like cheat sheets for all the things that you need to do before you take off. So after reviewing our cheat sheet, we are able to do a clearing turn and check that we were free to take off. It's a real advantage to take some experienced flights and there are lots and lots of businesses out there that will help you take your first flight in a small airplane if your passion is to become a private pilot. I'm going to continue this series as a way of recording my experience of going from no aviation experience to hopefully a private pilot license. Okay.
complete. <laughs> I have a million questions, but to start with, I would like to work through the vocabulary so okay. that I'm a little bit more familiar with the words that I should okay, be Okay, so I'm going to show you where the uh, pilot controller glossary is, okay. and that will give you a listing of all of the aviation phrases and verbology that we use, and you'll be able to study that, and that'll give you a lot of the information that you're looking for. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Thank you.